<laughs> so what we get to do, boys, instead of y'all laughing at me, making fun of me, we get to laugh at Ezra and make fun of him. So That's when right. we see him make a mistake, we call him out on it. So if he doesn't Hold use a out. potion... <laughs> All right, man. Are you going to go for 117? Yo, sh what is your uh, combat rating? Uh, 30, 37, 39. 37, 39. All right. So let's see what Ezra's got, baby. Uh, I got that rank 10 bottled hope uh, proc Ooh. you see up there. Now that's pretty huge, so I try to open up with my uh, shield. And with these uh, gems, uh, unlocking Awakening, I got four of my uh, pieces of gear unlocked now. It opened up uh, a lot of the, I guess, the cooldown. So I have 20% cooldown on my shield now. And man, does that make a huge difference in these, and uh, especially in PvP. Oh, heck yeah. My design from the start with this build, it's almost dependent on that awakening, which it sucks because right now it's priced out for most people unless they want to use rank 10 gems, you know? So I hate that, um, that there's that paywall right now between having a really cool build and not. Like, it, it made such a difference for me. Yeah. Now, you see here, like, I, I know typically, I think do it. You are melting with like eight thousand crits though. Yeah. What is yeah, your so what is your damage taken in percentage in here? Yeah, I'll check us and let me kill this guy. Oh, yeah, no, no, no worries. You don't have to rush it. You don't have to check right now. You can check on. Yeah, we'll, you can check check on the next one. Check on one eighteen. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you got to pretty much finish that yellow though. Yeah, I am. He's just beating on me. Heck yeah. Yeah, I know if you're optimally, you, you skip these, but uh, I'm not. This isn't going to be a problem anyway. Nope. Have you run into. Nah, I guess you didn't run into any difficulties getting here so far, did you? No. No. Yeah, I mean, actually, that run. That, I swear that last time we uh, did this was the only time I freaking died on this, you know? Challenger, it's just like, I mean, I, but like I said, I, I didn't really push myself. As soon as it started getting harder, I'd be like, okay, let's break this gear. Um, you know, and then mainly I'm pushing it like this when they're only Some, your, mic, your mic kind of cuts out a little bit whenever you're talking and playing. Somebody yeah, asked, I, I, go ahead. Somebody asked which awakening did he say was key to his build. Yeah, the uh, the pieces I awakened were two 10% uh, cooldown on my shield. Um, so I get 20% cooldown on my shield, and then with a rank 10 hope, that's 25%. So I'm stacking cooldown reduction on that ability. Um, and that procs my hope every 20 seconds. But also, uh, you see, that's it allows me to take a couple of hits from these mobs, yep. which... And, and in PvP, you'll see, if, especially if me and JT get to fight, I don't know if I'll go, if I'll last 15 seconds or not, but if I get two of those shields up, it definitely um, extends my survivability. Mm. No um, doubt. A lot of people just focus mainly on damage, and for you, that makes sense, because you have Undying and, and Phoenix and all of these other uh, lifesavers to right. rely on, so you don't need to worry about it, whereas me... Um, I'm a lot squishier and I don't have that as much. So survivability actually makes me more effective in PvP. Mm. I'm recording this for a YouTube video, so whenever you beat this, yeah, if you no, don't, no problem. If you don't mind, now, going straight to go straight to 118 after this. Dude, that that boss sucks. That's the hardest boss. Does. That's the hardest boss in the game for every I think, every class. So one thing you can do with him is a range. Though, as you see, he teleports to you, so I can pull him out of those totems. So I can take this guy. He's just the hardest. Um, and I kite him around a bit to try to disperse those totems. And I got to watch. That's the downside of range is sometimes his little uh, projectiles will be inside of my beam and I can't see him. So I got to kind of look. So I'll just guys out and then pull him over here. Yeah, if this were a lot higher, then this would be undoable just because those guys have freaking machine guns. And even then, right now, 
Wie willst du jetzt? You know, he's got a cooldown on all those totems. And I just ate that one. Yeah, he's gonna do that damage one. I'm just gonna go over here and kill this totem. Oh man, yeah, there ain't no killing this either. Dude, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, normally that's how I do it on the lesser ones, but yeah, they have so much damage reduction now. It's, uh. Those damn dart throwers are like, have the yeah. fastest attack Freaking speed. Machine guns, dude. It's terrible. Yep. There we go. So, what I. Teleporter just is. Yeah, that uh, shield buys me some time. But I just drag me. Yep. Freaking. Those guys, when they line you up, start now. Yo, the wings look sexy on that character, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you should go uh, Crusader or something, man. I don't oh, know if you no. like Wizard. <laughs> oh, I'm not going Crusader. Uh, no, that's that's I the last class I'd go. Hey, hey, since since the since it's coming out so soon, I mean, if we can switch characters in two weeks from now on the twentieth, like yeah. people are saying, like that's that's a, I'm not switching from a barb in two weeks. No way. Are you switching from a wizard in two weeks? No, man. I, I'm I'm a guy that I, I through thick and thin I stay with what I originally choose, and I just I work I make it work or don't, you know. Gotcha. That's just always always been my modus operandi. I mean, anytime I played Diablo, at least Diablo 2, the first character I always built was a sorceress because you just need the teleport to enable faster magic find runs and just getting through stuff. I felt like being a wizard or a sorceress, just having yeah, to teleport but... in Diablo was just mad important. But Dia this doesn't really matter. Like, teleport... I mean, do you... Sure. Um, and of course, he summons another one. So what you do, what he does is, and I, I'm not really uh, utilizing it very well, but when he drops that totem, he'll do a teleport right after. So if you kite it properly, you can actually keep his guys out of it, at least as arranged. Um, so at least they're not as buffed. I've got to kill mm. enough of them to get my health potion. So I'm constantly just burning time here. Yeah, it's absurd that when you think about it, this guy would have been dead almost twice up then big fat then you get one boss and look at this shit dude so he's that... gonna teleport over here but to me I bet in one second uh, I should probably just let my phoenix proc at this point get that uh, how much life you got left um on him I'm not sure There's so many mods in front of him, mobs in front of him uh he's probably close yeah 212 no you should have it yeah. But it's closer than it should be. <laughs> yep. No, I know. Yeah, and the, the one before this I did in freaking uh, four minutes. It's like your bad luck oh, on damn. the stream. Yeah. Bruh, I don't know if you watched my challenge list today, but oh my <laughs> did God. Did you get Sandshaper every single time again? <laughs> Well, there was actually one time on 128 that I got the uh, the fat butcher, but my my overall run on the instance was horrible, so I had like less than half uh, amount of time. Oh, all right, that's fine. One second, it's good because now I got my potion, so I can finish burning them. I probably should have just died a while ago, you know. Sometimes it's actually better to die when oh, you're yeah. like that constantly fighting to survive instead I of mean, doing damage. If you if you die and just wait five seconds, all the mobs go away. Yeah. I'm gonna let him teleport to me, hopefully. He's here. only got like twenty thousand life left. Oh jeez. Yeah, you got him killed right there. Yeah. No, yeah, it should have been a lot easier. Just, yeah, uh, that boss that, is, that boss is crazy. You want to get into? Let's keep going, man. Let's see until yeah. it takes him hard. Hey, before you uh, before you start, yeah. take a look at the damage and then back out for me because I know people okay. are gonna be curious of that. Ezra, show your regular gems, please. Somebody asked. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't spent too much on gems. Um, 
And honestly, I have some right now with these upgrades I have, I need to do some dungeons. I know I even have a set bonus. So I lost 15% damage uh, losing that flagellant doing some of these upgrades. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, I got right now my, my damage, I have two sixes for Tourmaline and a rank four. Uh, and uh, Ruby and the other at rank six. So most of my stuff is five and six. Yep. Um, one thing I have been uh, focusing on, because in PvP, my pet peeve or my, my weakness, Achilles heel, is um, CC, which is everybody, right? But yeah. knockbacks in particular. So one of the things I did is I've been rolling some knockback resistance. Um, like here's my bonuses I have. Player increase, crit damage. Um, elites, I did keep that. Stun resistance. I, I, I wanna test life regeneration. I didn't get a chance to test that yet before I replace it. If it sucks, I don't know. Uh, knockback resistance or knock away resistance <laughs> is huge. Um, nearby enemies too. So all these are actually max stats. I want to see how effective they are before I look at re-rolling. Yeah. Block, does um, block chance help with the, Do you have a block stat? I guess you do, obviously. Well, there, yeah, there is a block. That's another thing I was going to test, actually, because it, it peaks at 10% in PvP, but that that's affected by your armor. Uh, I think right now I'm at 69%, so if you look at... Uh, let's see... Am I, I'm in a challenge rift. Okay, so evidently they nerf blocking in challenge rifts when you're when you're out. Huh. Yeah. So here, damage reduced by eighty percent right now, and damage increased by four twenty two. They want to see your charm. No. This. So this is what. And I heard everybody, and I was thinking of, of spending a bunch of platinum because I got half a million platinum right now, on on trying to get these up to four percent like you. And then I'm like. I better test this before I dump a bunch of charms in this. So I went and I just tested electrocute. Yeah. I took the charm off. To, you know, I was expecting a 10% or, or I was thinking maybe with all the other bonuses, maybe I'd get 8% when you figure in multiplicative versus additive 8% um, bonus overall. But it was less than 2%. So I knew right there. Yeah, um, that's it crazy. Didn't crap. Yeah. That's, that's... So those are, the, those are the five that I slot. So that's why I have those there. And I don't want to think about... How much I wasted on there. One time I, I got 13 fails in a run in a row just to get one of those. Does does damage on armor do anything? So, yeah, so armor is armor only affects your block stat. So you have a chance to block. Now in Elder Rifts, well, here's one thing I, I didn't even realize until I just looked at that, but if you look at this that we just got this gives us 20 percent chance to block in elder rifts which is great well i did realize they scaled that down um so they actually scaled that down this is what armor normally does right so you have a